So proportion is on unit rates level four. The thinking of these questions is more is slightly more challenging, but it's really easy when you think about it. Okay, but you just you just need to really get involved with the question. So what we're going to look at here is two examples of questions involving currency. All right, now I'm going to I'm not going to give you exact copies of these questions, but this shows you the level of thought that you need to engage in. Okay, so. What I would suggest that you do, I would suggest that you read this question and attempt it yourself first. See if you can figure it out, pause it, and then come back and look at my explanation if you don't, if you're, when you're finished, just to see if you're right. So the first one, we're talking the conversion rate from euros to dollars is one euro is to one dollar twenty-five. When I went on holidays to the US, I converted 900 euros into dollars. I spent 700 dollars and then converted the rest back into euros. How many euros did I have after the trip? So here's the way this works, right? Euros and dollars don't have the same value. So you can see here that for if you want to go to the United States, every one euro you have will get you one dollar twenty five. Okay? Every one euro gets you one twenty five. So I went on holidays and I converted my nine hundred dollar nine hundred euros into dollars. Then I had a certain amount of dollars. All my money was dollars, and I spent seven hundred of it. Okay, so I had some of my dollars left, and the dollars that I had left, I converted back into euros. So how many euros did I have after the trip? So let's start. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to convert my 900 euros into dollars. All right? So what we're going to use for the proportion here is euros. I'll use the proper euro symbol. Okay, we're going to do euros over dollars. So it tells me that one euro is 125 so 900 euros is how much is how many dollars okay so we use our proportions and we look at our diagonal so we're going to get x equals 900 times 125 divided by 1 which is equal to, so you can plug this into your calculator if you need to, so you do 900 times 1.25, okay, so it's 1125, 1125, okay, so I ended up with $1,125, so what happened then, I spent 700, okay, so the, the, we'll mark these down in steps, right, so we'll say that this is the first step, I'll put it with a red mark here, so I'm working out how many dollars did I have when I went to the States? Second part, I spent 700. 1,125 minus 700 means I had $425 left. Then what happens? I convert my $425 back into euros. So again, I'm going to use my euros over dollars proportion. So what am I going to get? So I know that one euro is one dollar twenty-five. So I want to know how many euros will I get for four hundred and twenty-five dollars? Okay. So I go at it with my proportion. X is equal to that's funny. Text message. One times four twenty-five divided by one point two five. And I'm going to plug that in the calculator. You could use a calculator maybe if you need to, if you have one. 1 times 425 equals that, divided by 1.25. 340. So at the end of the trip, I had 340 euros. I don't mind using calculators with these questions because it just helps the, the calculations become a bit easier. <coughs> okay. So here we have the conversion rate from dollars to pounds is one dollar gets me one pound fifty six. That's actually probably should be the other way around. So we need to change that. That's the other way around. So it should be, that should be a pound symbol and that should be a dollar symbol. Okay, so one pound gets me one dollar fifty six. So I converted an amount of dollars to pounds and then spent seven fifty. The remaining pounds I converted to dollars which gave me seven eighty. How many dollars had I at the beginning? This is tricky. Okay? 
let's you need to think about this so how much did I have in total right so let's look at the two currencies together so I spent 750 I spent 750 pounds and I had 780 dollars left over okay so in this case what I'm looking at is I want to know how many dollars that I have at the start. So this was how much I had at the start. I had 750 pounds, okay, which I spent, because I had 750 pounds, but I had converted that from dollars. And I had the $780 left over. So what I need to do is I need to convert this to dollars and then add it to this. Okay, so what am I going to do? Use my proportions. So pounds over dollars is one pound gets you one dollar fifty six and I want to know seven hundred and fifty pounds gets me how many dollars or is worth how many dollars so do your cross multiplication x equals one point five six multiplied by seven fifty divided by one Okay, so you do in your calculator 1.56 times 750 is 1170. Okay, so 750 pounds turns into 1170 dollars. So, how much did I have at the start? Well, I had 1170 dollars, which was 750 pounds, plus 780. So total, at the start, is equal to, we're talking dollars here, so it's 1,000, well I'll erase that, that looks messy, let me see, something going on out in the next classroom, we're watching a video of some kind, continue, what we had was, 1170 that wouldn't erase for me by the way 1170 dollars plus the 780 and that works out to be a total of 1950 dollars is what we had at the start all right and that's it job done so you need to look at the level four worksheet and practice some of them okay